Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about HBAR. HBAR has lost some, uh, well, profits, has lost, has reduced in price a little bit over the last few days and, uh, you know, since my last video. That's basically in line with the projection that I gave you. We're currently looking at lower here in the C wave. I haven't changed the wave count to the previous video. I don't really need to either. Uh, but what we can do, we can just shift things around a little bit. And I think the wave three might be finished shortly. We could, we're now in the wave four here on the H bar chart and one more low might do the trick. The third wave is a little shorter than the first wave down here in this C wave. That's not a problem, especially not if it is an ending diagonal and price action currently suggests an ending diagonal here. Diagonal patterns are always a little bit more difficult to forecast and what you can pretty much guarantee is that the wave count will shift because you have to do uh, or you have to deal with unlikely and unreliable, well not necessarily unlikely, but unreliable corrective structures in an ending diagonal. Bear in mind they are all ABC structures or WXY or at least corrective and that can make things tricky. But overall on the HBAR chart expectation would be that we rallied off the January low in a wave one to the top here on the 12th of February, came down in an A wave, yeah, bottomed here around the 10th of March my reading is at the moment, and that's the primary, that this was a bottom in an A wave. Yeah, we then moved up in a B wave and we're now coming down in C. Works out pretty well at the moment. Alternatively, the wave two was already in here on the 10th of March, and this is some kind of a diagonal to the upside and we're now coming down, but it's not likely given this price action. Overall, however, we are currently in this orange support area. And this is a large trend reversal area that is responsible for this wave two to hold wave two support. Yeah, the wave two is sitting here. Um, and as long as we're holding 4.9 cents, I think there is still a reasonable chance to rally higher in the third wave. Below that level, I really only have 4.3 cent left as bullish support. Ideally, we do not break and sustain, however, below the 4.9 cent level. That is the 78.6 retracement. And ideally, we're not breaking below that because if we do, it would make this wave two quite unlikely and it increases the likelihood that something much more bearish is going on. Um, zooming in a little bit again, I think this micro count may move uh, and morph a lot. At the moment, I'm just counting it as wave one complete, wave two complete, wave three complete, wave four and the wave five. Well, why not hitting exactly the 4.9 cent level? We'll see. But for me at the moment, it's working out. It's making lower lows, it's making lower highs. And um, one more low really would be, com would be needed to complete this C wave of wave two. What would be a first evidence that the move down is complete? Well, I would wanna see at least, at least a break above the, wa the wave two high. That is at seven cents. So the current perspective of further downside is valid as long as we're holding below the seven cent level. All right, that's my update about HBAR. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.